Right guys, so Instagram email scraping is a topic for today and I'm really excited for this video because this is something that I've been uh, working on for over a year now, to be honest. Um, and this video is, is gonna be really useful for all those of you who are into cold emailing, um, if, you're, if you're selling your products, if you're getting leads for your business through cold emailing, then this is something uh, I believe that you're gonna benefit from. So uh, the thing about scraping emails from Instagram is that all the businesses you're reaching out to, they probably, uh, or, or I should say all the businesses in your niche, right, that you're trying to reach, all have Instagram accounts, right? And most businesses actually attach their contact information on their account, right? So you you, you will usually get um, a few buttons here and one of them is gonna be contact or email. Um, so they will have their email attached on their account. However, one issue we have is that this information right here, so these three buttons, or I should say the email button, um, is only visible on the mobile application, right? So the Instagram mobile application. And that makes it really hard to scrape, right? So if you look at the website here, uh, the web version, same account here, this information is missing, right? So we only get the bio, we get the link, but then there's no email, right? And it makes it hard to scrape, right? We can't, it, it's very hard to run a software um, that's gonna find that information for us and automate the whole process basically which, which, which is what we're trying to do now the limited approach um, so I've seen I, I did some research um, quite a long back actually and I was trying to find a method you know to scrape these emails however most tutorials out there and most YouTube videos that I watched the method that they are teaching you is how to scrape accounts that have their email on their bio right so some accounts uh, I'm sure you came across some accounts that have uh, like a section on their bio here that says contact us and then they have or for business inquiries uh, send us an email on this email address and they have their email address right there right so there are some accounts that that do that you know and you can scrape that using some um, uh, software like I think Serp Digger or whatever does that yeah, this is a Chrome extension that can do that for you. It it can scrape, um, it can scrape accounts that have their emails on their bio. However, this is a very limited approach because only a very small percentage of accounts actually put their email in their bio. You know, most businesses will just attach their contact information. Uh, on their email application, on the sorry, on the on the Instagram application. So. Um, you will not be able to scrape it. So today, we're actually gonna talk about the advanced approach, right? So we're gonna find a software that is, I'm gonna show you guys a software that is able to scrape this information for you, right? It's able to go into the application or um, generate an instance of the Instagram application uh, through an API and um, be able to find this information and scrape it. Right, so this software is, of course, Jarvi. Right, so Jarvi, for those of you who are into social media marketing, social media management, this is definitely a software that you probably came across uh, before. It is a social media automation software which helps you do different things such as follow and follow people like, you know, it's a really powerful software. It can do so many different um, things. However, this is not really what we're interested in today. The part of Jarvi that we're interested in is this right here, the scrape tools, right? So in order to use that, first of all, you need to attach your Instagram account. It can be a random account. It doesn't have to be a high quality account or your main account or whatever. It can be any, you can just create a random account and just attach it here. And once that's done, you can just click on it and then go to scrape tools. Now this is where the magic happens. This is a page that has a bunch of tools you can use in order to scrape accounts, uh, scrape account information, right? So as you can see, you can extract comments from URL, you can extract likes, extract, uh, sorry about that, 
you can extract followers of a username, so many different little things. But what we're interested in is this section right here, extract additional user info, right? So what I have here is a list of accounts, right? So as you can see, all these accounts, none of them have their email in their bio. However, all these are business accounts and they have their, they have their email in the contact info, right? So there you go. None of these have a, a bio email, right? Um, and what we're going to try and do here is extract that information, extract the business, the contact information. So what we do is we click on save file on disk and basically that's going to, um, create an Excel file for us once the scraping process is done with all the data. Um, then we need to click here to scrape additional user info, right? So here you get a bunch of options. Um, all we need to click is um, extract public email, phone and address, right? Exclude private users. So if you have a list of uh, random Instagram accounts, if you don't know whether business accounts or not, you can um, you can save time by excluding the private users. So um, uh, Jarvi can only scrape the accounts that are business accounts, uh, for example, or public accounts at least, right? So uh, just uh, just check that and then also check this option and you can also uh, check this option right here, um, scrape additional business details, right? And then we're gonna scroll down here to this section and this is where we put in the list of accounts. So here is the uh, a list of accounts that I showed you earlier. And we also click on uh, extract public email, phone and address, right? So that's it. And then you just click on extract users. And the scraping process has begun. As you can see here, username extraction, extraction has started. And this process can take, um, usually it will only take a few seconds, as you can see, it's done. Um, if you have a huge list of usernames, it's obviously going to take a little longer, right? So there we go, a nice Excel file with all, all our data. Okay, so it, it's a little bit messy, so I'm just going to pause this video. Um, and uh, there you go, there's the emails right there. So. I'm just going to pause this video and organize everything and uh, show you guys the results. Right guys, so here we have it. Here is the spreadsheet with all the uh, all the data we have extracted nicely presented. So we get the username, the user ID, the full name. Uh, we get a bunch of uh, follower accounts, following accounts, all that. Uh, we get we get the bios, we get the the links attached to the accounts and then finally here's the magic list of all the emails, all the business emails, um, sorry about that, that match to these accounts right here. And of course you can go ahead and uh, double check to make sure these are all correct. Uh, I, I'm not for sure these are all correct. So um, that's it really. And then you of course get um, some extra info such as address street, uh, category, uh, city, you know, so much info that you can use for your cold emailing campaigns, right? And all this with this really powerful software. And this actually uh, is something that not many people know about because uh, most people who know about Jarvi, they think it's just a social automation tool, social media automation tool uh, that just does following and following and all that stuff. Uh, but it actually has some hidden features such as this one, um, which is extremely powerful for us who do cold emailing, right? So um, this is the what, what, what I wanted to show you. This is the advanced approach. However, there's still more to it, you know, because even though this will help you and save you tons of time, you know, you still got to go and find these accounts. Right, because these accounts are not just just gonna magically appear. You know, you're gonna have to go and do the research and find these accounts in order to scrape them. So, if you're serious about cold emailing, this is a process that you will probably want to avoid and will also want to automate. Right, because let's say you're uh, I don't know, you might have an agency, uh, and your niche might be. Um, uh, you, uh, you might be providing social media management services to restaurants in New York City, 
right? So that's a very targeted niche, right? So in order to find those businesses that you you would outreach to, all those restaurants that you would want to send your script to, uh, you would have to go on Instagram and maybe search for like uh, New York City um, restaurants. And then you have all these posts here that you would manually have to go into um, and try to, first of all, check if they're a restaurant. So uh, I think this looks like a restaurant. So opening hours, uh, order, pickup. Yeah, this looks like a restaurant. So we, we would copy the username, paste it in like a, a spreadsheet or whatever. Uh, then go to the next one. This looks like a blogger. So that's not good enough uh, blogger again so you see like this is a long process especially if you want to be sending out um, all these look like bloggers maybe this one no that looks like a blogger so yeah and you're still a blogger so yeah if you want to be sending thousands of emails a day this process is going to be really time-consuming right so you would probably I think that's a restaurant I don't know maybe anyway so yeah this process will take you quite a long time so what I want to ask you guys is what I'm thinking of doing is actually creating a course to teach you how to automate the entire process from number one finding Instagram accounts that are within your niche Right, so I'm talking about very targeted accounts. So, uh, example, uh, restaurants in New York City, or uh, it could be I don't know gyms in uh, in London. You know, like a very very targeted accounts. Secondly, scrape all those accounts and extract all the data you need for cold emailing right which is pretty much what I've shown I've shown you today and third um, I also want to teach you how to automatically send uh, a bunch of emails every day with custom scripts to all these business accounts right so send um, send out custom scripted emails to all the businesses to promote your services um, or try get leads right and this is the the reason I want to make this course is because this is something that I've been um, I've been doing for over a year now, you know, almost a year now I should say, and um, it's been working absolutely great for me, and I'm getting leads all day long, um, and it's all automated. That's the whole point of it is that I'm not doing anything. You know, it's all automated, and um, I, I'm thinking of making a course, you know, in order to teach you guys how to do this, right? So I have created a form with a link right below this video, which you can uh, fill out. And I'm actually gonna give beta access, so free access to the to the course one, once it's released. And um, anyone who signs up on the form below this uh, the video is actually gonna get free access and you guys are gonna be able to, um, to uh, take this course first and um, give me your feedback and I'm also going to set up like a private uh, Facebook group where we can um, uh, where, where we can discuss and I can help you guys get the results you want right so if there's something you're interested in if you're really serious about cold emailing and really um, creating a, a system that is really like a ma money-making machine essentially if you know how to do it correctly um, if it's something you're interested in, all you got to do is just sign up on the form um, below this video, right? So thank you so much, guys, for watching. I really hope I was able to provide you with some value here. This is a really powerful method that you can start using today. Um, and yeah, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Uh, yeah, I will see you on the next video.